Hi, welcome to week two of NFNL Picks, the show picking Steelers, Browns, Bills, a dog, and a coin toss. My name is Pat Ritz. Time to pick them. The Bills came past due in the Big Apple last week in their OT loss to the J-E-T-S. It's starting to look like Josh Allen may have a bit of a gambling problem, or scrambling problem, or both. The offense looks rushed, and the rushing game seems to run through 17. There's never a dull moment, and that just might be the problem. The defense looked pretty rock solid, but too many turnovers wore them down. Even so, it still took an extra special special teams play for a Jets victory. Buffalo's in luck this week, getting a chance to play in front of the Mafia as eight and a half point favorites against the Vegas Raiders at home. Jimmy G and company came away from Denver with the win, but the Broncos only seemed to be playing half a mile high. These two teams are close all time, with the autumn wind holding a slight edge. Fortunately for the Bills, it's still technically summer, and that usually means fun on the Lake Erie shoreline. So surf's up, I'm all in, taking the Bills to cover and win. This week, we're talking about the word pound and its many meanings. In Pittsburgh last week, it meant the verb to strike heavily or repeatedly, as in the Steelers took a pounding from the Niners. They're hoping, in the parlance of steel making, that it will act as a forge to help shape and strengthen the team. Pickett, Harris, TJ, and Fitz need to step it up to make that happen. Pound is also a noun, used as a measurement of weight, like the pound of flesh they gave up in injuries to Hayward and Washington. In football, the phrase pound the rock is terminology for running the ball, and Brown's running back Nick Chubb is currently one of the best in the league, as the team honors one of the greatest ever on their unis. That should have the black and gold's hearts pounding as they face Cleveland at home as two and a half point dogs to a defense that held Joe Cool and Cincy to three. And there's no doubt, the dog pound is coming down the turnpike, looking to take a toll and all signs look grim for Tomlin's watch. But the Steelers hold the edge all time. So get me an iron ponder and a pond of Isley's chip chop ham in that. Steelers to cover and win. We are from the town with the great football team. We cheer the Pittsburgh Steelers. Time for the dog. Let me get this out there. The Detroit Lions are for real. Beating KC Sunshine Band at Arrowhead was practically a work of pop art. On the flip side, Geno Smith and the 12th man cratered in Seattle to the Rams. That's why the Seahawks are five-point dogs to the Lions in their own den. The sneaky part is that Seattle dominates this series by a two-to-one margin, and I see them gumming up the works in Michigan. Seahawks to win. And now to the coin toss, where we have the Indianapolis Colts as one-point dogs to the Houston Texans in Houston. For this one, heads, I get the Colts, tails, I get the Texans. That's heads, and I get the Colts. On to the records now. Last week, you can see I went two and three. 
Uh, things did not pan out very well for me, with one of those picks being the coin toss, so for what that's worth. Uh, hey, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, it'd be great if you could like or subscribe to help me with the algorithm. And remember, keep grinning and picking.